Hello knitters, Barbara Benson here. I am an independent knitwear designer who also likes to make videos here on my YouTube channel, Watch Barbara Knit. Make sure to check in the description notes below the video where you will find links to all of my online shenanigans, including how to get my patterns to knit up for yourself, how to join the Watch Barbara Knit Facebook group, how to get my merchandise, and how to support me on Patreon. And today, the description notes will be just packed with wonderful information because today we are doing a fave five. Now, what fave fives are is me looking through other designers patterns and with a theme in mind and picking out my favorite five patterns that fit that theme that it's just what is speaking to me when I am looking. I am not saying that these are the absolute best ones out there because I'm sure there are many, many more awesome ones. It's just when I'm browsing and I am looking, what catches my eye, what is exciting to me and what looks like fun. And so all of these patterns are available from the designers. Uh, some of them have Etsy shops. Some of them have Payhip shops. Some of them have their own websites. All of them are also on Ravelry. So you can get these patterns if they strike your fancy and you can knit them up for yourself. And the links to where to get these patterns are going to be in the description notes of the video. So you are going to want to look there. So you know what fave five is, of course, now you saw it on the little title. What was my theme? I decided to kick off 2022 something that I could get done fast, an instant gratification, something where I'm like, I have knit my first project of 2022. It was fun. It was fast. I enjoyed it. What I was looking for are these are my fave five patterns, fast fun patterns, under 200 yards of knitting. Okay. <laughs> I specifically needed to say 200 yards of knitting because the first one I'm going to talk about, it uses more than 200 yards of yarn, but it's less than 200 yards of knitting. Look at this. How adorable is this hat? This is the Tweed Cable Scissors from Fatima Hines. And the reason why I say 200 under 200 yards of knitting is because this particular pattern is knit with two strands of yarn held as if they are one strand of yarn. And it is a DK held with a fingering to give you something at a worsted gauge. So I believe you're going to need between 150 and 165 of each yarn. But since you're holding them together, it's under 200 yards of of knitting and it is knit on a size eight needle you will find that the heavier weight yarn and larger needles are going to feature prominently in this particular fave five because that's how we can get something big enough to wear in that amount of yardage I love how okay also, you will see me looking over here because I have a two monitor setup and I'm actually looking at the page and at pictures. So I have all the information for you and I can see the picture and explain to you why I picked this one out. A, I really like the idea of holding the DK with the fingering weight. It gives you a lot of options. It gives you opportunity to maybe use up some scraps. It gives you a marled effect. I just like playing with two colors of yarn together, or you could do it the same color and it's bringing texture. You could use something tweedy. It's just a, a yarn fest. It can be a lot of fun. And the cables on this hat. It features three different types of cables and cables are fun. <laughs> I enjoy knitting cables and having these three different kinds of tables uh, staggered around this hat just looks like a lot of fun. It has the reverse stockinette between each of the cables to allow that cable to really pop off the surface. And it also does something that I really like in a hat and that is the ribbing flows integrated into those cables they just kind of grow organically out of the ribbing and 
believe it or not, as a designer, that kind of attention to detail, I really appreciate because that takes hardcore math to get things to space out the way you want them to space out. I really like that in this one. Uh, it is a fun, I like beanies. It's just a great hat. And let's see what Fatima had to say. She also likes the fabric created by squishy cables. Um, being knit from the brim up makes it easy to customize it for some slouch. You just keep on knitting for a while. It might make you need to use a little more yarn, but I bet you can keep it under 200 yards. It says the finished measurements are 18 inch circumference and eight and a half inches tall. This particular version that Fatima knit took, she used one ball of Barocco Providence and one ball of Barocco Ultra Wool Fine. So let's see, Providence is DK weight and it is a Merino Alpaca Silk blend, just under 200 yards in a skein. And then the Ultra Wool Fine is a fingering weight that is 400 yards. So obviously only a partial skein of that. So that's the first one, that is Tweed Cable Scissors. I'm not, I'm not really sure about the name. Uh, maybe, I know Fatima occasionally watches this. Maybe she can give me some input as to this name, but it is a lot of fun. It says there's a cable chart. So very cool. This is Tweed Cable Scissors by Fatima Hines. Our next one, poof, look at this. I love beads. And just because I said it was under 200 yards doesn't mean it can't be fancy. I said fun, cause woohoo, look at these beads. I adore beads on knitting. This is the Br Brillier cowl from Nina Mashlin Dayton. And I just think it looks like it would be a fast knit and a fun knit, and it has beads. I like the beads. There's beads on the cast on, there's those columns of beads running up in the lace, and there are beads on the bind off. It's just a bead fest, and I think it is absolutely lovely and would be a great cowl to wear. Uh, I like, it's interesting that it has the chevrons on the bottom, but straight on the top. I also think you could wear it the other way. So the pokey uppy bits are up top and that would be a lot of fun. This is in DK weight yarn and it says between 140 and 180 yards. These small, we have a small a medium and a large. So there are three sizes in this. And she said a little brilliance and sparker on cooler days, which is great. You will also need 288, 360 or 440 size six slash zero beads. I'm not sure if these are put on, if they're pre-strung. I'm gonna guess they're applied with a tiny crochet hook. So you're probably going to need that as well. She used a yarn called Northfield from Valley Yarns, and it is 70% merino, 20% alpaca, and 10% silk. That is... I bet is an absolutely delicious yarn. The alpaca and the silk are going to make it amazing around the neck. So this one is definitely fit all my parameters, plus it has those beads on it. So that is amazing. And I love this purple color. Gotta admit that probably suckered me in a bit a much. So that's the Brillier Cowl by Nina Mashlin Dayton. Our next one is Mitts. So I was trying to keep a wide variety of patterns, not just like a whole bunch of hats, because when you think of 200 yards or less, you definitely think of hats. And I wanted to have a whole bunch. I mean, of course, we started with an awesome hat. We have a cow. This is a pair. Are is a pair of mitts? Are a pair of mitts? I'm not sure about <laughs> if that's really plural or whatever. Dust Devils by Laura Ayler. These look like so much fun. 
to knit because the construction of it is doing all of this bit. This takes a worsted weight yarn and it says around 125 yards. She used Noro. So Noro is a yarn that has long color changes, which is what it's giving you the interesting colors here. I bet using a self-striping yarn could be fun in here, or they would look lovely just in a variegated or a solid yarn. But to get the effect she has here, you're going to need to use a long color change yarn. The She suggests Silk Garden by Noro, Crayon, Curion by Noro, or Akari by Nora. All of those have the long color change and they're a variety. Silk Garden is a silk mohair wool. Curion is 100% wool and Akari is silk cotton rayon mohair wool and nylon. Apparently it's everything. <laughs> that is a lot of different fibers. Now this I want to read to you. So it says these unique mitts are worked in the round back and forth, in the round, back and forth, and then in the round again, making shaped mitts with thumb gussets without ever cutting your yarn. So I think that is really cool. So she's getting those really interesting shapes. I'm guessing we start in the round here and then we get weird angles and then we go in the round and then we get more angles. So I just, these look like a lot of fun. They look like they would knit up very quickly and obviously it's a size six needle, 125 yards, bada bing, you have a project that you have already finished in 2022. So that's Dust Devils by Laura Ayler. Next up, a headband. And look how cute this headband is. This is the Mozarab, Mozarab, probably should have looked that one up. You will find, if you go back and watch any of my old Fave 5 videos, me mispronouncing things is kind of a feature <laughs> of these. A lot of different designers name things thing, things that I'm not sure. I apologize for mispronunciations. This is the Mozarab headband. And I absolutely love the way this looks. I love the way that you have this crisscross action. It is lovely. Now, she used Dream in Color Perfectly Posh Sport Weight Yarn. And it is on a size 2 needle, which is very small. And it takes between 90 and 130 yards because this comes in inf an infant toddler size, a child adult small slash adult small, an adult medium, and adult large. There are four sizes of this, and the biggest one takes 130 yards. If you want to make this for an infant or a toddler, which granted would be absolutely stinking adorable, it, you're only going to need 90 yards of this sport weight, and the perfectly posh sport is 70% wool, 10% cashmere, and 10% silk, and 10% mohair. Man, I am, it seems like yarns are getting more and more exciting in their fiber content, and I, for one, am totally here for that. I love all these different things. This one, and did I ever say this woman's name? I am sorry if I have not. The designer's name is Renee. Renee, it's got an accent, I hope it's. Renee Mueller. And her description of this is really, really interesting. She said, the Mozarabs are Iberian Christians who took on the Arab culture of the occupying Moors living in Cordoba in the period between the 9th and the 11th century. I am such a... A history nerd. So this, that is one of the reasons this pattern sucked me in. They were Westerners who adopted aspects of Arabic and Moorish culture. Undul undulating texture echoes Arabic geometric art in a representation of this confluence of style. Knit in one piece and grafted, this quick stylus accessory in four sizes resembles a turban evoking the Spanish adoption of Arab culture of that time. So that that is incredibly fascinating. I love it when designers 
delve deep into their own culture and heritage and history to present their unique perspective of something and to give us something really cool to knit. I really like this headband. I like the variegation in it. It is just lovely. So it says that it is both written and charted. So you have your information. The skills required are casting on provisionally, cabling, grafting, creative manipulation of your knitting. Okay, you know you got me with that. That is the Moserab headband by Renee Mueller. And our final five, to make up our fave five, we're going to the other end of the body. These are Slip Slip Slippers by Shannon Squire. That's a lot of S's. These are knit in Aran weight yarn on size eights. And it says it takes between 110 and 140 yards. We've got small, medium, and large sizes. Uh, and foot length depends on the recipient's foot size. So it's 6, 8, and 10 inches in circumference. She used Knitted Wit Targihi Aran Weight Yarn, which I believe is 100% Targihi. I'm pretty sure just about any Aran Weight Yarn would work on this. I think these are absolutely stinking adorable. I like that she's used garter in the way that she's used it. It gives a lot of great texture and I'm willing to wager that the garter makes it a little bit grippier when you're walking in them and then I am guessing that the motif that runs down the toe which I like it that that bisecting the foot are probably maybe slipped stitches in some way shape or form hence the name of the pattern I just think these look fast they look fun they look really straightforward and easy and Right now, my feet are cold half the time, so I definitely enjoyed looking at the slippers. The reason why these take under 200 yards is because it's air and weight and it's knit on the larger needle. So you can get this one done super fast. So we started with the head and we had a cowl, we had mitts, we had a headband, and now we have these slip slip slippers by Shannon Squire. It is a lot of fun. I can totally see getting each and every one of these patterns knit up just super duper fast at under 200 yards. So I hope that you like these selections. When I have a pattern that I also feel fits into the theme of Fave 5, I will also share it with you. And for this particular under 200 yards, I have this cool cowl. So look at this. Isn't that cool? So the name of this cowl is McClanahan. And I'll tell you the reason why it's called McClanahan is because I designed this when my son was in elementary school and I would knit a holiday gift for his teacher. And frequently I would be at a loss to what name them. So I would name them after his teacher. So his second grade teacher was Miss McClanahan. <laughs> and so she got a cowl. This cowl, I I really like this cowl. I really like knitting this cowl. It is a true Mobius cowl. So what that means is that the cast on is in the middle here some way. And when you knit, it grows out away. And the bind off, this is a bound off edge and this is a bound off edge. It features reversible cables. So the it's it's a Mobius. It is one surface. It's one continuous surface with one continuous uh, edge. <laughs> it is really cool. You do need a true Mobius cast on for this. Uh, I have not tackled making a video on this. There are a lot of videos online and on YouTube about how to do a Mobius cast on. And for this particular pattern and another Mobius pattern that I have published, I actually commissioned an illustrator and took photos of step-by-step -step photos in my hands. And there's an entire page that describes in detail how to do the Mobius cast on with illustrations. So that is in there. Now this cowl, <laughs> it could be like maybe a hat. Let's see here. 
there. It's kind of hat-like too, <laughs> except for it doesn't close on top. Comes in three different sizes. And the difference between the sizes is that I wrote it up for three different yarn weights. You can knit it in worsted weight, Aran weight, or bulky weight. Now, the worsted weight is over 200 yards, but the bulky and the Aran weights are under 200 yards. So I thought that they fit with this theme. Um, the worsted, you're going to need 240. The bulky, you'd only need 125. And the Aran clocks in somewhere in the middle. This is the bulky one. And the one behind me is the worsted one. And when I was digging through my box, I could not find the middle one. I don't know where it's hiding. I used uh, Dreaming Color Calm, Dreaming Color Canyon, and Dreaming Color Mammoth. So those are three different weights. The Calm is the worsted, the Canyon is the bulky, and the Mammoth is the really, really bulky. So the Canyon is more in the Aran weight range. And it's just, it's a super fun, super fast. Once you get the cast on done, this thing knits up super fast. And it is really cool in that it's a very close to the neck. Here, I'm going to take my glasses off. If you're someone who really lives in a cold climate, this is great because it, see how it stands up by itself? It is great to tuck in side an overcoat that has like a collar on it and this really I just I think it's cool I think it's interesting it like makes you feel like you're the middle of a big flower or something it's fun it's cables you can fold this down oh see there we go it flipped around there's all kinds of cool stuff but so this is the McClanahan cowl so those are my fave five patterns to knit under 200 yards. Remember, all of the links to all of these patterns are available in the description notes below the video. If you're looking for that, there'll be something below the video that starts talking about the video and there'll usually be a little button that says see more. You click that, it'll open up the description notes, you'll find the information. Now, if you're watching me like on a television, it might be a little more challenging to find. You might want to hop over to a desktop style computer to see that information. If there are people who really can't get to the description notes, we can maybe look into another way to do it. I don't have a blog anymore, but maybe I can make a show note file and put it in the Facebook group. Let me know in the comments if you really are struggling to find all of these links in the description notes. If you like this video, please give it the thumbs up, click that like button. And if you would like to be notified whenever I upload a new video, please subscribe to my channel and select notifications. Thank you so much.